I'm going to show you how we can set up contact to work within Cubase with the multiple outputs. Firstly, I'm going to come to the device's VST instruments and I'm going to drop in contact. Now you can see we've got three versions. You can choose which one you want to use. Contact 3 is going to give you up to 32 outputs and this will be mono outputs. Contact 3 16 out is going to give you 16 mono. Contact 3 8 out it will give you 8 mono. So you can choose how you have these outputs set up. So for example, if you choose 16 out, you're going to have up to 8 stereo. So I'm going to select this. 32 is kind of overkill in a way. Um, I think 16 out is a good all-rounder to use, but you guys can choose. So anyway, let's load it up. Do you want to create a track? I think it's usually a sensible idea to do that. So I'm going to do that here. And you can see the default output configuration here. Now, the way that you set up these is you click on the config button and it's going to give you information about the current setup. So if I open this up for you now, you can see two channels are used by this output and they're plug-in output one and two. And that is of 16. Let's come down to the second one, stereo two, config. Plug-in output 3 and 4 of 16. The default configuration you get when you first run contact is with a surround bus. And this is 6 channels. So I'm going to show you what we do here. We're going to reduce this to 2. And we're going to rename this ST3. So it's going to be the third stereo channel. This message comes up whenever we make changes. So don't worry about that. ST1, ST2, ST3. And we can add another one now. So you click on add channel, just click OK, get rid of that silly message and click on config. I'm going to call this ST4 and we're going to go to the next outputs. So one, two, three, four, five and six is what we used already. Seven and eight are these two. It doesn't list seven and eight until you actually assign it. You can see that's assigned now. So it's a little bit annoying. You've got to count down. That's the only way to do this. Let's click OK. Let's add a few more. I'm just going to set these up and then fill in the information as we go along. So the next one, Stereo 5, ST5. I'm going to come down now and we're going to use the next lot of channels. So over here, 9 and 10. Once again, click OK. I'm going to call this Stereo 6. This one, I'm going to set up the next outputs, 11, let's bring this down, 12, just a couple more now, click on config, ST7, let's come down the list, so we're nearly there, and over here now, for the final ST8. Let's drop down 15 and 16. So we click OK. Now we click on Make Default. This will store this for the future so you don't ever have to do it again. And now we need to unload the instrument from the rack. So we say No Instruments. Drop down. Come back to the Contact 316 Out create the track and let's have a look you can see now eight stereo outputs now if you want to use these you are going to have to turn them on within the actual mixer I'll bring on the mixer now so you can see this I'm also going to take away the MIDI tracks so you can only see one contact output here if we want to turn more on this is what we need to do this very small icon here you click it and it gives you the options of what's available so if I click on stereo 2 you can see that's coming in this case, because we haven't got any additional items in the list, we might as well activate all the outputs. So now you can see the stereo outputs. Ignore the fact that it only sells, it says L on there. It's a little bit misleading, but these are the stereo outputs that we created. So you can now, inside contact, root individual instruments out through those. So if I say here, new instru instrument from list, let's go drum kit, let's just load something up. You would choose your output from the list here, all right?